Is it an absinthe aura song? Hmm. All right. On to the final area of Bunas Stars. Go ahead and kick an early ad so nothing's happened right now. Might as well. <laughs> well, I mean, worst case scenario, I, I will be always happy to lend out um, some of the Hegel's Kegels. Um, cause I got the whole box set and they're very helpful. Uh, you'll, uh, you'll be fit both physically and mentally in no time. <laughs> it's funny, all these, all these philosophers and really the only one I can speak to off the top of my head is Epicurus. Well, that's what happens when you don't have a philosophy or lit major. Is it over here? No. Is it over here? No. Where's the bonus area? Ah. Oh, we didn't even solve the puzzle on this. Oh, wait, yeah. Never mind. Wait, what? Oh, so there's that one star in the overworld, but apparently there's two more stars. Let's ask some questions. Those who have discovered the holiest mysteries of my garden may come to serve me as blessed messengers. You walk now in their abode. Be respectful, for their service is born from the love that transcends death. And their love is for you also. Okay. Huh. Okay, there is even more to this than I thought I knew. This is what I get for thinking. Or would it be not thinking? Hmm. Truly a conundrum for the ages. Alright, we got the blue lasers, and then we get the red lasers. Now 
that won't work. Certainly very peaceful. Alright, that's our blue. Let me unlock the last dome and I will hit that um, message. Do I want to hit it? Because this is World C. I think I think there's been those wooden doors on like every map. This game is called the Talos Principle. Um, I beat it earlier, so we're kind of doing some extra bonus stuff that I didn't touch. Um, back when I originally played it, but it is a puzzle game sort of in the vein of like Portal 2 Because uh, it came out a few years after it sort of in that huge wave of when it was all being popular um, But it has more of a philosophical bent to it um, It it certainly wants you to think about things. It wants you to think about um, What? makes a human where where is the line of something being human and not human drawn is there even a hard line you can draw um, I think it has some pretty good stuff to think and chew on plus the puzzles are pretty refreshing compared to like when portal 2 like really kicked off um, the puzzle puzzle game genre for a few years. Um, a lot of stuff, you know, you usually get your easy your easy cash in on the genre when it gets big again. Um, but I think Talos Principle did a good job of making unique puzzles and making creative problems to solve. And like their whole the whole thing about the bonus. Um, bonus stuff you can get is a lot of them require like not just solving within the puzzle within the boundaries of it you have to sometimes maybe set things up in one puzzle and then use elements of another puzzle to unlock something to get the um, the extra credit the bonus star or you might need to be very um, efficient and how you solve the puzzle with your tools. So you have some stuff left over to do another thing later. Um, so yeah, it's a game I will I would certainly recommend is worth checking out. Um, it's on Steam. I don't know the price, but considering it's over five years old, it's likely pretty damn cheap. Okay, dude, man, buddy, old pal, old friend, old fucking blue looking blood and ashes. Come on, work with me here, work with me. I'll have to do that. All right, so if we get half, let me just section off this area. And then zigzag this. No. Can't do that. What about not that? What about that? Mm, slack. Hmm. So these two extra asymmetrical pieces are really throwing off solving. 
At least the music is nice and soothing. I do miss the music from ascending the tower though. Um, I really, really love that. Um, I kind of messed it up because I fell out of the tower, which sort of sequence breaks it, and it kind of ruins what it's doing. But um, if you pay attention as you're climbing the tower, the um, more and more layers to the song get introduced for every floor you ascend to. Um, so by the time you get to the top, it is crescendoing. Um, and it's a very triumphant um, tune. And it really hammers home that you are in the final stretch. You are... You have gotten to the top of the summit. And you are victorious or about to be victorious there is the whole little thing at the very end you have to get through all right we're gonna we're gonna go with an art distraction all right so we got now we're gonna go with, we're gonna make him flex all right so we got we got the arms here we got a head here He's doing a little dance. He's like, come on! What do you want from me? It's just a grid! Why don't you solve it already? Come on! <laughs> this is certainly lo-fi beats to chill on a Friday evening to. Well, it's not really a lo-fi beats because it's more of a... ethereal sort of tune. You know, it's just a piano and just kind of a bit, just a little bit of uh, vocals. Good enough, right? No? Alright. Hmm. We can't put another Z in there. Could do this? end up with an extra L. It's really grinding my gears, I'll tell you what. Then put the 
flat here, perhaps? This, this. No, that's not gonna work. This will work. There we go. Yeah! All right. That was red laser. Red, 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 red. And now, hit the audio while I set up this prison. I look at this inert shape and I wonder who you're gonna be. Will you hold the same values as we do? Will you love us for having created you? Will you resent us for having put you into an uncertain and dangerous world? Looking back at our history, our achievements, our crimes, what will you make of us? Will the world you create be like ours or so different that we can't even imagine it? Either way, I hope that you'll find this little blue planet to be as beautiful as we did. I hope you'll take care of it a lot better than we did. And I hope one day you'll look up and reach for the stars. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Ugh, but I... It's hard not to get emotional. Oh, thanks for thanks for the headpad, Iris. What you doing, bruv? Welcome, child. I am one who elected to remain in the world as a messenger of the hidden worlds. Whoever in need, seek us out and cry for help. We will do what we can. Okay. Um, let's see. I am here for a bonus star, my friends. Two lovers are separated by the abyss of time and space, yet true love knows no obstacles. There's an exit portal. That'd be a that'd be a pretty funny joke to pull if you uh if they put a collectible you needed in a unidirectional uh portal.
Wait. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna need the axe. Because it breaks barricades and there's the thing on the tower I need to open up. Alright. While we're having fun going up and down elevators, how's y'all's evening been? Anything good to drink? Anything good to eat? I know I don't have too much in the way of dinner plans because I am just taking L's when it comes to putting things, when it comes to chewing on things today. Biting my tongue, biting my cheek. I just can't win today. On the other hand, I did pick me up some root beer. I haven't had root beer in a while. It's just uh, it's been a root beer kind of root beer kind of week. Feels pretty good. Reward myself for for staying on task on the projects I wanted to work on. Spaghettios, pasta, and tomato sauce. Oh, is it Spaghettios or Spaghettios with meatballs? Those little bit of uh, the, the little bit of meatballs makes all the difference. Sometimes I usually like to get. Um, if you ever seen it, I think it's called like Zitrini's um, Jambalaya. That's one of my comfort favorite things to get. Um, it's got a nice little kick. Usually Tracking get the primary subject has ceased. Um, Initiate. Initiate. What's the sausage called? It's like a spicy sausage. Um, I would say one if you want to to pizzazz up a tomato base thing. Um, usually it's like some basil and then some black and white pepper um, can usually get it, give it a little bit more a little bit more kick a little bit more flavor not your father's root beer I have I have um, I recall it being okay I picked up a um, Virgil's root beer. I can, I I used to be pretty snobby about root beer. I haven't had it as much as I used to, so it's not as bad. I used to have a few strong opinions on root beer for a while. Like I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't have a wine cellar. I'd have a root beer cellar. <laughs> Okay, so we solve it, but how do I get... Hold on, what is this talking about? I think the one of my favorites that I recall ever having um, was found like on a it was one of those like you're on a long road trip and there's that random like um, fruit seller stand um, that usually has like really great fresh fruits for pretty dang cheap um, on the side of the road and it was some people who had bees and they made honey and they also used some of the honey to make a little bit of root beer. So it was kind of like a honey um, sweetened locally brewed root beer and it was really damn fantastic. Yeah, root beer can have a lot of depth of flavor depending on what you're using as sweetener, how much of the herbs, 
you're using from the sassafras or um, uh, the other one that's suddenly escaping me that's commonly used. Um, it can have a surprisingly complex flavor profile. Okay, it's saying off to the left. Talking about grabbing it through there? I don't think that works, but I'll give it a try. No, that can't be it. Maybe it's over here? Oh, it is through there, because I can just go around. Man, this thing is a twisty little maze. The things I do for stars. Alright, so we got that one. Right, go back in and get the other one. Oh. Do, 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 do. Gotta get, get our cardio in. I mean, I know we're a robot, so we don't, we don't really, we don't really do cardio. But like, it's the principle of the thing. Take you and you. You know, I have two arms. It's kind of silly. I can't like pick both of them up at once. Like, jeez. Probably the reason, like, why I I usually have been partial to root beer that I kind of had a taste for absinthe as well, since that tends to be sort of a listen to me well, child. Do not ascend the tower. Taste. You are not meant to go there. Your purpose lies in the Garden of Worlds. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's actually a funny little jokey joke uh, that Elohan does. So when, when I was climbing the tower and he's like turn back um, if you actually do turn back he has a unique voice line of basically going like oh uh, you actually turned back uh, good, good job. Thank you. Proceed to the garden. Certainly a game where the devs Maybe they didn't think of everything, but they certainly accounted for everything. I'm livid. Blood and ashes. Actually, you know what? We'll do this. Two out of three. And our third one, I actually do know of. I just didn't remember where it was, and I didn't think we actually needed it. You actually do need to fall off the tower. I just wasn't watching for it. Let's see. Like floor three is the minimum. I do wish my resource I was using for reading the hex code translated portions of the text um, was complete. I didn't realize it was not, and they only had like one and a half of the worlds, which is really frustrating because. Uh, I mean, I can type fast, but like, it's really distracting to constantly be tapping away and then retyping all that hex code. Just for like, little hee hee ha ha Easter eggs. Was it here? 
Oh, no, it's at level 3, but I have to go up to 5 to jump down to it. Of course, of course. Of course, of course, my kingdom for a horse. Uh, looks like ads are coming up in case you need to adjust your volume. If not, I will see you in a minute when hopefully we are wasting time trying to do Tetris on our final bonus puzzle. Put it down here. Okay, into the puzzle. Pigeons! Wait, why are there pigeons inside a sim- You know what? Don't worry about it. Ah! Perfect landing. Ta-da! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's get the rest of the way down. Thankfully there's no fall damage. Alright, we are at... Bonus area C. Let's finish this! For whom the bell tolls. Oh, that's the axe. I want the bonus. Alright. Our final question mark Tetris. How hard could it be? Spoiler. It was very hard. Go for symmetry. Sometimes it works out. Oh, it almost works. in an area with a square. Nope. Nope. Come on, it's the final stretch! Just give it to me! Nope. 
Nope. wanting to make it symmetrical. It's hard not to. Ugh. I just realized they kind of change color depending on where they are. Interesting. solve puzzles you either solve the puzzle or live long enough to see yourself become the Latin chancer Factor it. Can we? Can we just? Oh. 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 I hate everything, man. I hate everything. for me, Mr. Puzzle. You glow golden, but you're a giant dead. If I had my way with you, you'd be flushed right down with all the other garbage. Isn't that right, Dick? I don't know why I suddenly decided I needed to try and do a zap brand. Reset. All right, we've got almost symmetrical, except for these two pieces of shit. Hmm. 
All right, we have that. Do this, and this, and this. Square. Fuck. We need an L. doesn't work in that space. This is it? Yeah! Yeah! All right! Oh, hey. Is this the speaky person? Check the picture first. Three stars. Okay. Human eye. What is a man's eye but a machine for the little creature that sits behind his brain to look through? Is it man's eyes, or is it the big seeing engine which has revealed to us the existence of worlds beyond worlds into infinity, but has made man familiar with the scenery of the moon, the spots on the sun, or the geography of the planets? He is at the mercy of the seeing engine for these things, and is powerless unless he tacks it on to his own identity and make it part and parcel of himself. Okay, Samuel Butler. Chill the fuck out. Tetramino. One of the most fascinating aspects of St. Adelwald's recently uncovered writings is his preoccupa preoccupation with finding divine truth in mathematical concepts, which at times borders on pantheism. He was, it would seem, particularly concerned with what we now call tetraminos, seeing in them a reflection of the tetra... grammatic... Te tetra... tetra... tetragrammaton, and the Greek word for God, Theos. Their ability to form other shapes out of themselves symbolized to him the Creator's ability to reshape the world without breaking the laws he himself had established. Adelwald referred to Tetraminos as Sigilia sigils, implying that it were more truthful versions of the magical symbols worshipped by heathens, rooted in both the Abrahamic tradition and careful observation of creation. It is unlikely that these texts were distributed, as they would almost certainly have resulted in charges of heresy. Preservation. Ooh, achievement unlocked, thorough researcher. Hold on, what is that? Oh, collect all- oh, okay. Basically find all of the terminals and read them. Noted. I view, with a mixture of pity and horror, these beings training to be sold to slaughter, or re-slaughter, 
and fell into reflections on an old opinion of mine, that it is the preservation of the species, not of individuals, which appears to be the design of the deity throughout the whole of nature. Blossoms come forth only to be blighted. Fish lay their spawn where it will be devoured. What a large portion of the human race are born merely to be swept prematurely away! Does not this waste of budding life emphatically assert that it is not men, but man, whose preservation is so necessary to the completion of the grand plan of the universe? Children peep into existence, suffer and die. Men play like moths about the candle, sink into the flame, war, and the thousand ills which flesh is heir to. Mow them down in shoals, whilst the more cruel prejudices of society palsy existence, introducing not less sure those slower decay. Alright. Wollstonecraft, you're a little bit too far up your ass on this. I, I feel like you have a thread to pull on, but uh, I feel like you gotta you gotta you need to start a TikTok. You need to, you know, you know, modernize and, you know, maybe rephrase things for the modern audience. That's weird. I thought we were going to have a little chat with our person thing, but I guess not. Um, well, doesn't hurt to go left to right. Nexus. Is that it? No, of course it isn't. here. But at what cost? Hold on, does breaking this... No, it does not open the other one. Um... Okay, so I think we need to set it up This up, perhaps. We do this. All right, not too bad, not too bad. I feel like they're gonna keep making this a little more complicated. All right, so we got you. We got you. Hmm. All right, so we have a camera. I see. So we need to get. Yeah, we don't need this. Rather, we do need this, but you know, like this. All right, that frees up the camera. So we take the camera. We hit this. We hop this. Um. Last chain, I believe. Hey, Leon! <laughs> Welcome on by. 
Thank you for the 100 mana. It will be put to great use. How have you been? Not getting up to too much trouble tonight, I hope. Although, knowing you, everyone who gets crimed upon tends to deserve it. <laughs> yeah, got good taste. Does that spell something out? Is that an N? E? X? I think it spells Nexus. Okay. Someone was really proud of their um, puzzle, I guess. What do we got? All right. Let's hit the right side and then we will finish off that puzzle. Unreachable garden. Ooh, we have replay, box, camera, and stand. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay. So we need to open this, this, do that. Where is a place I can climb up is the question. So I'm gonna need to grab this. Here first. Record that for a while. just realized I'm dumb. I need the fake one to be over there and the real one to be over here. Snarf! There we go. Okay, now that we have that... <laughs> this is endlessly amusing. Hmm... My people need me! Ah, uh, Here we go. Once again, I'm solving the puzzle. Can't deny it, it's your end. I'm gonna beat this puzzle. Okay, now I'm thinking we do this. 
come up here. I link that to that. And I believe that gets us the piece without any other trouble. Oh, right, I can't climb. I am a potato. Is this what they call hubris? So, what I need to do is I need to record, I need to pick this up, yeah I need to record picking this up, going over here, then walking over here so I can pick this up walk back here so I can have it on the high ground, and then I will have solved it, I think. So let's pick this up. here. Give myself a few seconds of buffer to make sure I can get over to it. Alright, so then I walk over here. I pick up the prism. I walk back over here. And then I'm gonna do some jumpies just in case, make sure I can get up there or something. I feel like this is going to be a waste of time and I might be, might be required to get that uh, cube, but let's try and solve it in one go without it. Come on, pass me. It's not in the right area. Fog. We almost had it. Alright, 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 alright. That should be enough time. See if we can do this a little bit faster. Now to 12. Do, 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 do. Grab the thingamajig. Do, 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 do. Jump just in case I need it. Get 
give it a few seconds to charge so I can run through before it all collapses. All right. Let's get those marbles. Come on, come on. I feel it, I feel it in my snaky bones. Come on. Yeah, we don't need no stinky box. We just need angles. Angles and devils. Angles and debits. Now for the final puzzle, I think. Cobweb. Huh. That's rude. Okay, so ultimately we need to get red over here. to get that other prism. Let's get blue to blue. Ow. Stop it! Leave me alone! Alright, we're gonna solve all of our blue problems right here, right meow. Blue. 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 Like this. Bada-bang, bada-boom. Wait, why'd it got interrupted? By what? Ah, you flipping. All right, I got a solution for that. Ow, damn it. Uh, where did I put all my prisms? Here's one. There's the other one. You can stop being interrupted. Hmm. Let's see, it needs to go over here, to there, to there. So we're blocking that off, we're blocking that off. Ah. I see. May have an issue. Out of my way, buzzball. Three out of three, or nine out of nine. Now the question is, 
Where do we use them? Oh, six. <gasps> Hold on. Um. I think we need a password to unlock floor six, I thought. Let's just try and go to floor six and see what happens. Yeah, it's this story. Straight ahead. Gonna kick back ads since they're coming up. Oh! What am I missing? So there's got to be something about those pictures that were on the computers. See if we can suss this out. Tower. We're on the left side of the elevator. Okay. Alright, I'll try and remember what this looks like. Something to the left of the elevator, or when leaving the elevator to the right. The second one. Yeah, things can look sus. Do some quick bunny hops. Gotta build that momentum. Just launch ourselves. I actually don't know what engine this was made with. Or if they made their own. <clears throat> okay, and this one, it looked like the elevator. Sixth, okay. In asterisk in asterisk.
Come on. So I lost the elevator. Sixth floor. So I wonder if the middle number is 6, for the 6th floor. I wonder if this means the third number is 3. And maybe the first number is 1 because of the tower? 163 perhaps? Let's try and see if that unlocks the 6th floor. The other thing is maybe the numbers on the signs, but I'm not sure. Let me double check that there's not like a QR code that has a number. Nope, not seeing anything over here. Alright, what did I say? One, six, three. One, six, three. All right, first one should be the simplest puzzle. Attempting to track primary subject. Access denied. Query. Placement. Oh, placement. There we go. Oh, I'm lost again. Device manager. Numbers on. I wish I had written them down. Numbers on the signposts for each of the areas. So maybe the first. Maybe the other pictures were just like, "Hey, this this is used in the tower to get to the sixth floor," and then that third one is like billboards. Use... look at this! Look at this, my friend! Look at this photograph Every time I do, it makes me laugh Alright, so six 
Now the third one is seven, so what is the second one? Tell them what is one, Johnny! Something seven. We got this. We got this. Home stretch. Final road. I wonder what's up there. Because I know there's. I know there's the two endings I've shown. There's one more, which I. Now that I've seen, like, those broken down panels, like, what's behind there, you get to be able to send, like, a message to other players, sort of. I presume if we saw wall three. Eight. Six, eight, seven. Let's try that for the code. So I am really curious what this is. Six eight seven. Six eight seven. Six. Eight. Oh. Six. Eight. Seven. Damn six. I know it's late, but you hungry. No. No, no. I want the easy puzzle. Give me the easy puzzle. This is the problem with NFT elevators. You know, they only got a one track mind. Yeah, I, I had to. I had to elevate my game, and uh, I think we're reaching new heights. But sometimes you need to uh, bring things down a bit. <laughs> huh. da -da -da. Da -da -da. Found one external device. Type device manager to control external devices. Unlock six. Six, eight, seven. Oh shit! Sixth floor, sixth floor, sixth floor. Floor, sixth floor, sixth floor, sixth floor. What's in the wonder floor? Who knows what surprises the sixth floor has inside? I Wait, I'm going down. My beloved child, few have given themselves so purely to my cause. Fewer still have learned so much of the mysteries of my garden. Therefore, you may choose to be elevated, to stand by my side and become my blessed messenger in eternity. But know that this is a sacrifice that cannot be undone. Yet another. My eternal nemesis. We meet again, you monster. 
Hey, Ross. I hope your evening has been fine and dandy. Man, this one doesn't even have any T pieces. It's all Z's and L's. Oh, I feel like I'm going to be taking a lot of L's. Prepare? What am I preparing for? Pain? <laughs> uh, certainly have prepared for that for a while now. Lag is this bollocks. I dislike this. It's smug aura mocks me. I hope you had some fun with your tabletop RPGs. I hope your evening has been going great. Now, if y'all been doing a lot of tabletopping, you've probably been sitting for a while. Stand up. Stretch a bit. Stop holding in that piss. Go put it in the bathroom. That's what it's there for. Get a fresh cup of water. <laughs> Welcome on in. Um, this is Talos Principle. We're just, I think, finishing up the last thing. Um, we did the ending. Um, we did the basic ending. And then we went and got... Um, a bunch of bonus stars for like some something else. Um, even though I've played this game before, way, way back when it originally released, I have not done whatever this is before. So this is 100% new to me. I feel that's been telling considering how much trouble I've been having. Solving it. Fuck. One of the one of the must one of the one of the eyebrow sashes wiggles better than the other. <laughs> yeah, I had to consult my how to look smart book and uh, fix my hat. You know, I, I had it on my snoot last time. I realized that was not proper etiquette. I was I was supposed to put it on my tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, you know, it makes perfect sense in hindsight. <laughs> What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, if y'all can't tell, I am not good at Rubik's Cubes. Um, fun fact, squares are hard to spend when all you have is spatial and illusion magic. And also no thumbs. Come on! How do I do this? Then I cry because I don't have any L pieces that will fit there! You monster. 
You monster frisbee. It was nice. That won't back. No, it won't. No, it won't, Tracky. Tracky, it won't back. Your ideas fail when applied to the situation that is reality. You cannot conceive of an answer. Yar fuck. Come on. I believe. I believe I can fly. I mean, I kind of can. We uh, certainly jumped off the tower and no harm came to us. So, by a certain definition of flying, we can do it, albeit temporarily. If you define flying as simply flinging yourself at the ground and missing, or I suppose in our case, not dying, seeing as I am still here and still being thwarted by these damnable puzzles, whoever thought of such a thing with their squares and squiggly shapes is surely a Fool of the highest magnitude. If I ever get my hands on that rupscallion scoundrel, I will show him an oh what for. Mock my words. And we just jam the Z's in like this. All right. This is a round of making art. All right. So we got we got our head. All right. Um. I think we're I think we're gonna do we're gonna do like a little Squidward thing. Or no no he's walking like an Egyptian. Walk like an Egyptian. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. God, these are just really rough shapes to be trying to fill this space with. Because I keep wanting to pattern them, but because I don't have any opposite facing ones, I can't fill the inevitable gap that comes up. do that, but now I am out. Yep. I have gray space. What if I just did this? I swear if it's this are you fucking serious? Are you fucking <sighs> Oh we did it! Oh, we did it! And it's radially symmetrical, which is pleasing to see, but very frustrating. It is now time to choose your epitaph. For your body All shall right, be I'll hydrate. I'll hydrate. Though you shall not die. Oh. Oh, I guess this is... Huh. This will be your final resting place. Choose how you would be remembered by those who follow in your footsteps. The purpose of life is to serve the generations to come. I search this land to serve the glory of Elohim. This is my blank. I swear I won't be as obscure as the rest of them. Remember, everything is merely a premise in the grand equation. I'm not sure this was the right idea, but here we go. I have faith in the designer. Let go of your ego and you will perceive eternity. I shall be the eternal guardian of this world. Epitaph? Wait a s- what? Wait a second! Made the Hall of Fame, eat it. 
every single sigil. No beating that. What a waste of time this all was. Don't make my mistake. Turns out epitaph means you're dead. I dream of a world where all are equal. As a messenger, I will bring about this end by helping the worst off. You know, I feel I feel the most apropos at the end of all of this, all of the doom and gloom. Um, I think the most poignant is being that seed of hope. I'm gonna go with this. I dream of a world where all are equal. It is written that there is no greater love than to lay down your life for another. But your sacrifice is greater still. For instead of resting in eternity, you have chosen to serve all the generations to come. They shall strive for greatness, and through you, they shall accomplish it. For you are no longer a child. You are my messenger. everything with the Talos principle. 